Hello everyone, our topic is The Myth in Jane Austen by Jeffrey Gorer. Let's see the author introduction. Jeffrey Gorer was also known as Jeffrey Edgar Salmon Gorer. He was born on 26 March 1905 and died on 24 May 1985. He was an English anthropologist and writer, noted for his application of psychoanalytic techniques to anthropology. He was born into a non-practicing Jewish family. He was educated at Charterhouse and at Jesus College, Cambridge. During the 1930s, he wrote by unpublished fiction and drama. His first book was The Revolutionary Ideas of the Marquis de Say. His notable works are The Revolutionary Ideas of the Marquis de Say in 1934, Africa Dance in 1935, the Americans in 1948, The People of Great Russia in 1949. He wrote a book, Bali and Anchor, in 1936, and Himalayan Village in 1938. Let's see the introduction of Jane Austen. Jane Austen was born on 16th December 1775, Steventon, Hampshire, England. Her father was a George Austen, who served as the rector, and her mother was Cassandra Lay. Jane Austen was the second daughter and seventh child in a family of eight children, among six boys and two girls. Her father was a scholar who encouraged the love of learning in his children. She was more attached to her father and her sister Cassandra. In 1783, Jane Austen and her sister Cassandra were sent to Oxford, but later they were returned home because they got typers. Then later they both attended boarding school, but due to the high fees, they didn't continue their education. During her teenage, she wrote three short plays. Then she compiled her 29 early works into three bound notebooks, which was referred as Juvenella. She called the three notebook as volume the first, volume the second, and volume the third. In 1791, at the age of 14, she wrote the novel Love and Friendship. In 1805, her father was died, so she lived with her mother, sister Cassandra, and with her brother Edward in Hampshire in Steventon. Jane Austen and her sister Cassandra didn't marry. In January 1817, she began to write the novel Sanditon. This novel remained unfinished because of her bad health. She, she was suffering from addition disease. Jane Austen was died on 18th July. 1817 at the age of 41 in Hampshire, England. She was buried in Winchester Cathedral, Hampshire. Jane Austen was an English novelist known primarily for her works Sense and Sensibility, 1811, Pride and Prejudice, 1813, Mansfield Park, 1814, Emma, 1815, Persuasion, 1880, Northanger Abbey, 1818, she was achieved modest success but only little fame in her lifetime since the books were published anonymously. Astin gained far more status after her death. Jane Astin Myth Jeffrey Gorer discussed the psychological approach in Jane Astin's four novels such as Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, and Emma. All these work have a central theme which Jeffrey Gorer called Jane Astin's Myth. Gorat particularly discussed the heroines of these novels, since these novels tell about a young woman named Marianne in Sense and Sensibility, Elizabeth in Pride and Prejudice, Fanny in Mansfield Park, and Emma in Emma. These heroines are in love, but they reject the worthless lover, such as Willoughby by Marianne in Sense and Sensibility and Wickham by Elizabeth in Pride and Prejudice and Crawford by Fanny in Mansfield Park and Frank Churchill by Emma in Emma. Then they marry a man that they respect and admire just like her father figure. Rather than they love sincerely such as Marianne married Brandon and Elizabeth married Darcy and Fanny married Edmund Bertram and Emma married Mr. Knightley. The Oedipus complex traced by Freud Back to Sophocles' play Oedipus Rex is about the attachment that a son develops feelings towards his own mother. Dr. Ernest Jones traces Hamlet's inability to avenge his father's death to his Oedipal attachment to his mother. 
His ability to have a normal relationship with Ophelia is also attributed to his Oedipal complex. Erectile complex is the daughter's excessive attachment towards her father. Jeffrey Goret finds in Jane Austen a victim of electoral complex, the youngest daughter of a country clergyman. Jane Austen was deeply attached to her father when he was alive and chose to remain unmarried until her death. Jeffrey Goret analyzes that in Jane Austen's major novels, we see that her electoral complex has seen in all the heroines that she has created. The central myth. The girl who hates and despises her mother and marries a father, surrogate is not an exclusive invention of Miss Aston, though until she wrote the sexes had been reversed and the subject considered filtered for tragedy than comedy. The most famous example is Sophocles' Oedipus Rex. For psychoanalytics, there will be little cause for surprise at the ease with which most of her readers so fascinatingly identify with her heroines. Persuasion, the last of the novels to be written, is in remarkable contrast to the other four. The central figure of the myth are still present, but their roles are considerably modified. There are two mothers. One is dead before the story opens, but stated to have every good quality. And although the other mother, Lady Russell, is as usual the chief cause of the heroine's unhappiness. The author treats her leniently than she had done before, even suggesting that there may, that there may be some excuses for her behavior. This seminar was done by Ms. Madhumita or Snega or Chena Venus or Gomati and D. Jamuna. Thank you.